Four approximate integration methods were described in video H300-1189, forward, backward, trapezoidal, and Simpson. In this video, the trapezoidal integration equation is derived and an example is shown. In H300-1189, a small set of values were used in the examples. Let's review three of those examples. Forward integration yields the area under four rectangles starting with the first data point going forward. Backward integration yields the area under four rectangles starting with the last data point going backward. Trapezoidal integration yields the area under four trapezoids. Now we'll derive the general formula which will be useful for large data sets. A is the increment between all values of x. Total area is the sum of the areas of the four trapezoids. Factor out A over 2 and combine like terms. Add and subtract the first and last terms. Combine the first and last terms. Distribute one half inside the parentheses. Then write the general equation for any number of trapezoids. N is the total number of trapezoids. Counter I goes from 0 to N. Add all the Y values. Subtract half the first and subtract half the last. And then multiply by delta X. One more time, add all the Y values. Subtract half the first value. Subtract half the last value. Multiply by the x-axis interval. Your personalized data set name ends in DAT1099. Open that file and copy the column of 1000 numbers to the clipboard. Navigate to the course web page. Go to the Homework Exercises folder. Select your data set. Copy all of those values to the clipboard. And then paste them into Excel. The first value of Y is 6 in this example. Excel variable names range from A1 to A1000. Add all 1000 values of Y. This is the Excel command to do it. Subtract half of the first value and half of the last value. This is the Excel command. The time interval for these 1000 data points is 6 seconds in this example. And the x-axis interval is 6 over 999, not 6 over 1,000 as shown here. B2 multiplied by the x-axis interval gives the integrated value over all 1,000 points. This is a plot of the 1,000 points. Do not print using Excel. Instead, copy this one page to MS Paint and print this one page from there. Exercise 1099 has demonstrated how to find area under a large number of data points using Excel and trapezoidal integration. 